Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. Hey guys, just a reminder, this is my second video for this week. So if you haven't seen my video about the Chaga Mushroom, I'll put a link to it in the description box below. With the new Dune film out this week, I thought this was a perfect time to tell you about how mushrooms actually inspired Frank Herbert's Duneverse. I've been a fan of that book series, and particularly the first book, since I was a teenager. So I was astounded to learn that medicinal mushrooms and the mushroom life cycle itself was such a direct inspiration to the Dune series. Anyone who knows me knows that I'm a big fan of the company Fungi Perfecti, makers of the host defense line of mushroom supplements, and particularly their founder, legendary mycologist Paul Stamets. In Chapter 9 of Paul's 2005 book, Mycelium Run-In, How Mushrooms Can Save the World, Paul discusses meeting Frank Herbert in the early 1980s. And I'll just read for you verbatim what Paul says. Frank Herbert told me his technique for using spores. When I met him in the early 1980s, Frank enjoyed collecting mushrooms on his property near Port Townsend, Washington. An avid mushroom collector, Frank felt that throwing his less-than-perfect wild chanterelles into the garbage or compost didn't make sense. Instead, he would put a few weathered chanterelles in a five-gallon bucket of water, add some salt, and then, after one or two clabs, pour this spore-mass slurry on the ground at the base of the newly planted firs. When he told me chanterelles were growing from trees not even ten years old, I couldn't believe it. No one had previously reported chanterelles arising near such young trees, nor had anyone reported them growing as a result of using this method. Of course, it did work for Frank, who was simply following nature's lead. Frank's discovery has now been confirmed in the mushroom industry. It's now known that it's possible to grow many mushrooms using spore slurries from elder mushrooms. Many variables come into play, but in a sense this method is just a variation of what happens when it rains. Water dilutes the spores from mushrooms and carries them to new environments. Our responsibility is to make that path easier. Such is the way of nature. Frank went on to tell me that much of the premise of Dune, including the magic spice, which would be the spores, that allowed the folding of space, which would be the tripping you experience from consuming mushrooms, the giant sandworms, which would be the maggots digesting mushrooms, and the blue within blue eyes of the Fremen, which is the cerulean blue of the psilocybin, mushrooms, and even the mysticism of the female spiritual warriors, the Bene Gesserits, influenced by tales of Maria Sabina and the sacred mushroom cults of Mexico, came from his perception of the fungal life cycle, and his imagination was stimulated through his experiences with the use of magic mushrooms. Paul Stamets Long before I ever knew about this friendship between Paul Stamets and Frank Herbert, I always thought the beautiful fruiting body of a turkey tail mushroom in particular reminded me of the gaping, cavernous maw of a dune sandworm. Recall how Paul Stamets referred to Frank Herbert's spice as a metaphor for mushroom spores. These spores are literally the first component of mushroom reproduction. As the spores, liberated from the mushroom, germinate into strands of cells called hyphae, and as each individual hypha it forms connections with other hypha from nearby spores, and so this is the genesis of the mushroom mycelia, the immense subterranean thread-like network that is, again, very much the brains and or the intestines of the mushroom. The growing mycelia digest organic matter and ingest nutrients around it while deterring predators. If you remember that mushrooms enhance and protect the environment around them, and if you follow Paul Stamets' lead in thinking of Dune's spice melange as a metaphor for mushroom spores, then you should absolutely be able to see the ecological gravity of Dune's famous proclamation, He who controls the spice, controls the universe. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.